Nancy Mace's comments labeling Joe Biden a lifelong racist have stirred significant controversy, especially regarding the decline in approval ratings among black voters. Uh, if, if it weren't for South Carolina and particularly uh, South Carolina 6th District uh, Congressman James Clyburn, mm -hmm. Joe Biden very well might not be in the White House right now because it was Clyburn who threw his support to um, uh, the now president back in, you know, four years ago. And that helped propel his campaign against Bernie Sanders and others into the White House. Well, now we have a graphic uh, that shows how black support has fallen for uh, the, the sitting president. In October of 2020, he enjoyed 79 percent among black voters, 79 percent support. Now it's down to 72 percent. And so that leads the president to do things like uh, speak at Morehouse College graduation. How, uh, how much trouble is the president in among black voters in South Carolina and, frankly, the whole country? Well, I think he's in significant trouble. If you look at the polls in swing states, he's down in all but one to Donald Trump. He needs as many voters and as, as much support as he can. But the problem is he hasn't done what he said he was going to do for black and brown and African-American communities. And he needs these voters. But I look at Joe Biden and he's a lifelong Racist. This is a guy who didn't want his children raised in a racist jungle, according to him. And he told black voters just a few years ago, you ain't black, according to him, if you didn't vote for him. And that kind of divisive language isn't the kind of thing that wins black, I think, hearts and minds. You're seeing that today. And he's been a very divisive president. He hasn't made good on his promises in anything with regards to inflation, with the border, to jobs. Everybody is worse, including black voters and women under Joe Biden than they were under Donald Trump. And Donald Trump's polling. I mean, he's got he's got more significant support among black voters than any Republican that I can think of in recent history who's run for president. Um, and, you know, you're seeing some of those voters to say, hey, we're not going to vote Democrat now. That's what you're seeing in Joe Biden's polls. Mace's assertion that Biden has not fulfilled his promises to black and brown communities has sparked public concern about political integrity and the importance of keeping campaign promises. Such claims highlight voters' frequent disillusionment when expectations aren't met. Mace brings critical topics to the forefront, appealing to a Democratic audience that values accountability and tangible results. She references Biden's past controversial remarks and criticizes his administration's handling of key issues like inflation, border security, and job creation. The impact of Mace's statements extends beyond mere political commentary affecting social and psychological trust in leaders. Her characterization of Biden as a lifelong racist and focus on his controversial past reinforce a narrative of unfaithfulness and unreliability, deeply influencing voters' emotional and psychological connections to their leaders. Mace's remarks resonate with the public's desire for authentic and trustworthy leadership. By emphasizing Biden's perceived failures to improve conditions for black voters, she aligns with conservative demands for accountability and practical results in political leadership. 